there would be many more fatalities in Afghanistan if it weren't for the efforts of a chain of service personnel who deal with military casualties. The frontline medical services based at Camp Bastion assist everyone from ISAF troops to Afghan troops and local nationals. Laura Hawkins now takes a close look at the journey that gets the casualty to the safety of the emergency department in the quickest possible time. And the hospital footage that you'll see in this report is a reconstruction for training purposes. The emergency department at Camp Bastion is one of the best in the world, fully prepared to deal with the most traumatic battlefield injuries that could take place here in Afghanistan. But it's the journey from the casualty out on the ground to the hospital that's the most crucial. From the combat medic, the Chinook pilot, the medical emergency response team, the ambulance response team and then to front of house. They are all vital links to the smooth operation of saving the casualty's life. The first most important rule when assisting the casualty is the platinum 10 minutes. It's now imperative that every soldier out in theatre is taught battlefield first aid, so they can automatically help themselves or a comrade in an emergency. This includes learning how to stop bleeding and to apply a tourniquet. But it's the combat medics that patrol with the troops that provide the first vital medical assistance that's needed. The medical training that you receive is uh, as of a high standard, so you feel uh, well prepared. So when you're out on the ground, when you do take a casualty, you feel a bit nervous at the time, but then you just get zoned in and then your skills and drills, they take over and then you feel you're able to do the most for the casualty. Yeah, I've had uh, three fatalities on my tour. Um, you try not to attach yourself to the lads that you're working with but it just becomes second nature because you're living with them, you have a laugh with them and you're socialising with them. They do become your friends and some of them become your best friends. As the combat medic is assisting on the ground, the medical emergency response team have already been called upon and are on their way. The golden hour rule now comes into play to get the casualty back to Camp Bastion Hospital within that critical time frame. If we get a call on the, uh, on the bat phone, we will run out to the aircraft, start it up as soon as possible. The medics will arrive uh, along with the force protection, get in the back. Um, we will have uh, the details of the casualty brought to us at the aircraft. The four-man Mert can get to most casualties within 15 to 20 minutes and they'll land as close to the casualty as is safe to do so. The patient is then transferred to the aircraft as quickly as possible. Our idea is that when they are delivered to the emergency department, they have had all of their initial treatment. If they need tr blood transfusion, we can give that. Um, nothing should be bleeding. Their airway should be open or they're anaesthetised to maintain their airway. But they should be handed over to the emergency department, stable, ready for the next step. As the Mert are making their way back to Camp Bastion, the next link along this chain have already been informed of the casualty and have jumped into action. The ambulance response team here at Camp Bastion are the first people to pick up the casualty from the landing site. With over 2,500 medical missions in the last five months, they can pick up anything from a casualty with a broken tooth to serious trauma injuries. When the helicopter lands, we extract the casualty off the uh, helicopter, put them in the back of the ambulance, and will also be assisted by the Pedro medics or Mert medics, or anybody who's on the flight, and we just supervise in the back of the ambulance. Um, if worst comes to worst, then we might have to get hands on. The final stage before the casualty is rushed into the emergency department is front of house, the hospital's reception. Anything that fronts up to the front of this hospital that's injured, um, where the first wants to meet it, and we will make sure the hospital is kept safe by making sure things are kept out of the hospital. And we will also uh, quickly have a look at the casualties and give ED some idea of what's coming into their department. Along with the front of house staff, the Mert doctor will escort the casualty into the hospital and give his handover notes. The crucial journey to the hospital is over. And with such a well-oiled and well-trained process, the survival rate in theatre is on the up. Troops can have the peace of mind that if the worst does happen, they are in the best possible hands. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Camp Bastion.